what's up YouTube land it's your boy Eddie Hill the White Oak Pennsylvanian toy collector and it's time for another Eddie Hill review it's review time people and today we'll be reviewing Transformers Authentics Bravo Soundwave and he is a Decepticon. And his box art looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. Nice paint, nice artwork, a sound wave. Not bad. Before we get on to this review and mess around with the figure, we're going to talk about it. This is based on a vehicle mode sound wave instead of a cassette player mode sound wave, which is awesome. About four minutes, make that two minutes, we're going to get on to transformation as soon as we look at the box. Now, we're going to look at the box. Again, nice product shot of Soundwave. Looking all G1 Soundwave-ish. Vehicle mode, Soundwave on the box. Transformers Authentics, bravo. This is an 11-step transformation toy. And the transformation steps are printed right on the box. That's pretty good. And now we're done with the box. Let's get down to looking at this figure itself. Ooh, come on, tripod. Come on. Not fussing with me. It rolls. Very nice. But now for comparison, here he is next to my original Authentics Bravo Soundwave. See some key differences here. But yeah, it rolls very well, and that's the only comparison we have for Authentics Soundwave comparison. So we are going to transform it. First, we remove the shoulder cannon. That'll come to play later on. We're going to disconnect this section, like so. Coring that up. Split the arms, like so. Now we're going to get this section to open. We're going to have to open this section if I can get it to open, which we just did. Flip around the robot head, like so. And then we put the chest panel like so. He doesn't have split legs, but his arms are on ball joints. And then we connect his cannon, his shoulder cannon. So we're going to peg it in there. And there we got Soundwave in his robot mode. This is pretty good looking. Arms are on ball joints. Legs do not move because it's a printed plastic piece, so they're not going to move. They're not going to move. Arms can move. No elbow bend. But otherwise, a good looking figure. And now we're going to do some robot mode comparisons. Which we only got one to compare it with. Another sound wave figure. This was going to be a quick video. I knew that from the start. Yep. And I got the other sound waves transformation memorized offhand because I'm pretty good with transformations. And we'll connect his shoulder cannon. And here we got Authentics Bravo Deluxe Soundwave. And they look good together, if I do say so myself. This one I like as well. 
Head is on a ball joint on this one. I love this one. Arms are on ball joints. Legs are on ball joints. But this one's really good as well. Head can move due to the transformation. So you can get the head to move for ups and downs. But no ball jointed head. But yeah, these are good looking sound waves. If you love Transformers as much as I do, pick these guys up. This one I probably saw at my local Dollar General. So I'm so glad to have him in my collection. Because he's Soundwave, man. Soundwave is superior. And Autobots are inferior. But do I highly rec recommend this? Authentic Bravo 11 inch. Soundwave. Yes. He is fun to transform. And he is a good looking Soundwave. Besides for the hollow bits on the back that's my only nitpick but if you display them from the front you don't notice them as much but this is eddie hill before i move on and rock out i would like to say this thank you for helping my youtube channel grow to a huge amount of subscribers to all my subscribers and also um i would appreciate it if you would like comment and subscribe to continue keeping my mojo going and helping the channel grow even further. And this is Eddie Hill. And I would thank you very much. And now this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out. YouTube land.